All right, everyone. In the past, I have been slandered multiple times on stream, being called a bad gamer, bad at video games, a scrub, a noob, that I have skill issues, that I should get good. But to disprove that once and for all, and to prove that I'm better at gaming than all my viewers, I have made a gaming resume competition where you could submit your gaming resumes in the Discord and I would look at them and the winner would get a little prize. And for that occasion, I've made my own resume, which is just one of the many ways a resume might look like. Mine is just a simple Word file. All right, gamer resume. resume. <laughs> Carnivoric, starting off with multiplayer games. And this is my pride and joy. This is Dota 2. My peak, Divine 3. 5100 MMR sometime in 2020, right before the pandemic. CSGO, Supreme Master First Class. I never screenshotted this for some reason, but my friends can vouch for me. You can ask any of my Counter-Strike friends and they will tell you it's true. They will also tell you I got boosted by them, but I think that's besides the point I did hit the rank. Okay, moving on to this is like kind of the fighting game section. Guilty Gear Strive. Floor 10, which is the second or third highest floor of the game. Floor 10 without knowing how to use Faultless Defense or Burst, or without knowing how to use Super. I didn't add that. Why didn't I know any of those things? Well, because I was too lazy to learn it. Tekken 8, Brawler. Brawler is not a good rank by any means, but I didn't play the game very much. And you know, I, I think I have a pretty good win rate in Tekken 8. Maybe if I continued playing, I would go higher, but yeah, I just wanted to put it out there. I added this just a few seconds ago. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle or BB Tag beat Seesaw once. She was using one of her mains. She was using Teddy. Citation needed. I'm gonna have to put in the clip where I beat her. Shit! I just beat her! The evil has been defeated! Like oh my god, my pulse. That's going on the resume. <laughs> oh, that's going on the resume. Oh. Moving on to platform fighters. Smash Ultimate. Elite Smash. These are the characters that are still in Elite Smash. Uh, if you guys don't know, over time you're rating the grades and since I haven't played Elite Smash in, I don't know, four years or something, some of my characters that I had in Elite Smash have now fallen out of it. These are just the ones that have stayed in Elite Smash. And there were also like these online tournaments Nintendo put on with a very scuffed rule set. Hey, but at least they didn't have items. Uh, and these are just some of the tournaments that I won. Wolf. You can see the date next, like down here as well. Uh, Falco, Lucas, Marv, Captain Falcon, Wario, Falco, Wolf again. All right, and then we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. My rating, uh, 9,912. <laughs> and then Splatoon, my best ever rank, all-time best B+. As you can see right here, my current rank B-. And this was very recent. This was the most recent Splatfest. I won a 100x battle! This is me next to Fry on the float. Now we got Rocket League, Diamond Tournament winner. This is my esteem. Girls just want to have Bian. And this is the title you get, Season 4 Diamond Tournament winner. And this was, this was our team that my friend very selfishly named after himself. Arena Shooters, <laughs> Quake Champions, I won a deathmatch once. This is the only occurrence of that ever happening. I only ever won a deathmatch once. Deathmatch doesn't even have ranked, but I did do it. I did win. There's proof right here. Diabotical Tactician 5. Either in Aim Arena or Duel, I can't remember. And then we have something I'm not very proud of. Probably should have gone extra Counter-Strike, Gold 3 and Valorant. I, you, to be fair, on my squad, I was on Sentinel duty. I was playing Sage or Cypher or Astra. And I never really fragged out. And the way the game works is that you get your points based on the to on the combat score for whatever reason. So people who play supporting characters don't really tend to rank up as well. I'm coping really hard. I peaked at gold three. Okay, moving on to single player games because single player games are also gaming achievements. Hades won a 32 heat run and I have all achievements. Very proud of this one. As you can see, all achievements. Don't, if you have never played Hades, don't get spoiled.
Pokemon Fire Red. I beat a Nuzlocke. Don't ask me how many runs it took. Also, no items in battle, and I used a rare candy cheat. Paper Mario the Origami King, my trophy all Origami Toads, without looking any of them up, by the way. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, I 100%ed that game as well. And I could have added a bunch more stuff, but I don't want to take an hour just going over my resume, because this is more so about you guys than me, and you know what? I'm gonna start looking at your submissions now. Greatest Gamer Resume from I'm In Your Walls 31. Multiplayer single player games, Battle Block Theater, both normal and insane mode complete. Best achievements, Theater Critic, 4.7% of players have this achievement, 1.7% of players have this achievement? That's why he said hardest. I mean, that's very impressive. Oh, Risk of Rain! I Survivors currently beaten the game with Mercenary Railgunner and Void Fiend, as you can see over here. I like, you know what? Big plus points for the different colors. Very cool, very cool. Yet to be played games. Okay. Don't Starve Together. Good game. I've played it, but it's also really confusing. I don't think I ever made it like past uh, two nights or something with my friends. Trove. Uh, the Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I do have that on my Steam library. I haven't played it myself. Multiverses. I don't know. You, you might be... That game might be a skip. Unless you have a friend to play with, in which case it's pretty fun. Egg. I don't know what that is. Crashlands 2 Demo. Okay. That was Walls' uh, gaming resume. If I had to rate this right now, I would probably give it like a 5 or a 6 out of 10. There's definitely some effort put into the presentation, which I appreciate. So yeah, uh, thank you, Walt, so much for submitting your resume. Oh man, we're gonna have to get a little creative with you can you can barely see this. Alright, I can just I can just read it out. Listen, in terms of presentation, this is basically a zero. I'm trying to I'm trying to make this I'm trying to blow this up as much as I can so you guys can actually see something, but uh All right, there you can kind of see it already. This is from Mr. Knight and this is a wall of text. I'm just going to read it all. Mr. Knight go to help me with converting LE Skyrim mods to SE. Whoa, that's crazy. I didn't even know. He's like what? Well, he's a community treasure. Hello, my name is Nolan, but I go by Mr. Knight 3356 or 3356. Mr. Knight being my favorite comic book anti-hero, Moon Knight and 3356 being my randomly generated game gamertag number. So like a Xbox thing, I think. I'm 26 years old and I work as an arcade machine technician and hobbyist game developer. That's a really cool job. Arcade machine technician, dude. That's that's so cool. I mainly work in the re retro Doom engine. I'm currently learning how to do uh, m how to mod gold SRC. I don't know what that is. I don't really have a resume, but here's all my profiles. If you want to prove of my nerd cred, I've got over 3,000 games, both physical and digital. I made a ton of mods for Doom 2, 1994. I played for several competitive teams, mostly for retro shooters like Quake, Half-Life 2, TFC. I don't know what TFC is, and early TF2, a Team Fortress 2. For my high school woodshop final, I made a MAME cabinet, and my college acceptance letter was about why Tony Hawk's Underground is the greatest game ever made. Competitive teams I've played for, Legit Mafia, for Half-Life 2, Deathmatch, 2014, 2017, this means he won a trophy, I'm presuming. Golden Machine Gun for Team Fortress 2, 2011, 2014, third place medal. Neon Light TFC for Team Fortress Classic, 2011 till question mark? Oh, so he's still playing. Toxin for Quake Live 2009-2011. Big, I'm a big Quake fan. That means a lot to me. Mr. Knight. Favorite games, Doom 2, Dusk, Half-Life, Tony Hawk's Underground, and Black Mesa. This is another Valve game, I think, or a fan game. I don't know. 771 total games played. Uh, zero played in 2024. He must be quite busy. 516 games backlog. There you can see it. Look at this. This is insane. Look at the amount look at the amount of information in this Google Doc. <laughs> and it's all done in the Fallout style. Payday 2 completion checklist. Whoa. It's also he really likes his Excel sheets. The amount of effort put in is actually insanity. <laughs> Half-Life release compendium. Another Google Doc. Okay, and this is also done in the Half-Life style. And it's insanely long. Holy. He really loves cataloging. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it's the guy. G-Man? I never played Half-Life, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's made mods for Tabletop Simulator. I want, just want to check it out real quick. 
Kona's four-player Yu-Gi-Oh table. Yo, Yu-Gi-Oh mod? I use a tabletop simulator from time to time to play games with my friends. It owns. N next mod? Co Gothic Warhammer 40k table. Whoa. Dude, look at this. This is like a... I think my computer would crash if I opened this in tabletop simulator. Just let me just go through the pictures. I'm I'm presuming this is him. Oh, this is a this is his setup. Ooh, yo. Oh, he has a GoPro too. Steam Origin, ROM emulators. There are his hard drives, converters. This is so cool. This is like a flowchart. <laughs> All right, and then this. Obviously, this touches my heart. I love clones. This is the 212th uh, Clone Legion. Uh, I think that should be Commander Cody right there. Uh, great render. As you know, I love clones. And then this is him next to a gaming cabinet. This is probably the one he built for his uh, in high school, which is insane to think about. Look at that stick, dude. Look at how many buttons there are on it. Uh, his own arcade cabinet. This is so cool. All right, first and foremost, Mr. Knight, thank you so much for submitting. An insane amount of effort went into this. Obviously, some of the presentation, I mean, it's just a, in, in the end, it's mostly a text message in the Discord, but he linked so much stuff, YouTube videos, pictures, you know, Google Docs, the mods he's made. In terms of like what is in the resume, and by the way, judging from the reaction in the Discord, this is a 10 out of 10 resume probably the only way it could have been better is if it was if it was packaged a little different but it's great there we go gamer resume zeal wolf he also followed the same pattern that waltz followed and i followed basically a word document all right steam games i've 100 completed celeste ender lilies hollow knight the gate little gator game one shot and short hike First of all, great list, Celeste, Hollow Knight, One-Shot, fantastic games. Celeste, notoriously very hard to 100%. Uh, Hollow Knight, all bosses radiant, in parentheses hitless. Here we got, I mean, I played Hollow Knight a bunch on stream, I didn't really get too much into the po uh, post game. Look at this, Hall of Gods, he's done every boss. Half of Pain several times, all 63 achievements. Uh, includes Pantheon, Hallowness, 100% completing the game without dying, see at top. Celeste, all 32 achievements, see at top. It's You, you can see the little ribbon all underneath the games. I only have that for Hades 2. Uh, Hades. I don't have that for any other game in my Steam library. Super Mario Odyssey, 100% completion. 999 moons. I'm currently sort of in the progress of doing that. Every once in a while, I'll stream the game, try to get every moon. Quite the endeavor. And this is Elden Ring? Beat Melania, no summons, level 176. Melania is the really hard boss with the let me solo her. That's all I know about Elden Ring, really. Uh, okay, Geometry Dash. Beat every main level with all coins, lots of levels, so only one screenshot. 100% in normal mode, 100% in practice mode. Deadlocked. He has all the coins, he has 15 stars, he has 500 or 500, whatever that is. All right, Zeowolf, great resume, two-parter, I love it, I love it. Uh, the, okay, now, in terms of pre presentation, I wouldn't say it's quite as good as a Walz's resume. Now, the Geometry Dash stuff and the 100, and the Geometry Dash, Hollow Knight and Celeste, to me are insanely impressive especially hollow knight and uh, celeste because i know how hard those games are now i would probably like give this a seven to an eight the presentation could have been a lot better but you know these the stuff that's actually inside the resume the achievements are very impressive all right i'm gonna just uh, share this real quick this is just uh Closing time, closing time submitting that she beat Eggman Land. She beat Eggman Land. Congratulations, closing time. I'm not accepting this as a resume, uh, but I don't think it's meant to be one. I'm a, just a quick shout out. Okay, we've got Gaba. It's a, it's also a TXT file. Consoles I own. New 3DS XL, new 3DS, new 3DS Pikachu, new 2DS XL, Switch, Switch OLED, Wii U times 2, Wii, GameCube, Mini SNES, 
Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance, uh, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, PC, I guess. I've seen the bus PC. I don't know if it's long for this world, but you know, it's, it's holding up. Switch Lite, not really mine, so I don't count it, but I use it more than my sister. Kirby Star Allies, Undertale, All Root, 1 hour 17 genocide. This is his speedrun time. Very impressive, I think. I don't really know. I don't speedrun uh, Undertale. I don't know anything about it. Hollow Knight, 110% Pantheon. This hard okay did Path of Pain. Okay, first of all, presentation. Yeah, it's a TXT file, okay? it's If there were some images, I would probably look at it a lot more kindly. In terms of content, I gotta say your uh, your game completion is pretty impressive, and the uh, the consoles you've owned are pretty impressive. Overall, I would probably say this is a five to a six out of ten. Three stars on all cups, including DLC on all CCs in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 426 plays, 126, 825 in the world on Big Blue 150 CC. So time uh, time trials. Executive VP 999 in Splatoon 3, so that's Salmon Run. Cleared Hazard level max and dethroned Triumvirate four times, very impressive. 620 in Splatoon 3 side order with Charger and New Game Plus, 37th place in the world. Whoa, best Swede. Oh, he's from Sveri Sverish. I think that's how you say it. Side order any percent 110, 6, 43rd place in the world. The obscurest key. Kiaro Skurist, uh, Big Man's boss fight in 48 seconds, second place in the world in Splatoon 3. I don't know. Oh, Big Man's boss fight. Oh, so this is a Splatoon 3 single player mode. Very Splatoon heavy resume. Okay, first of all, this is like, in terms of presentation, this is the worst you can do effectively because it's a, just a Discord message. In terms of content of the resume, it's pretty impressive. Then again, I would have liked to see some screenshots or something. I'm not gonna say like this person just made this stuff up, but like a screenshot, I feel like it's pretty easy to add. Then again, adding screenshots from your Nintendo Switch to any other device is annoying, so I do get it. Okay, uh, I would say this resume is probably a 4 or a 5 out of 10. Untitled document PDF, I hope this doesn't blow up my computer. Games I've completed on stream, Bang, Bo Bang Bloom Splat, Undertale, Parappa 1, I've also beaten Mario Odyssey, Pikuniku, Sonic 1 and 2, and Captain Toad on both 3DS and Switch, to name just a few games I've nearly fully completed off stream. Current rank in COD Mobile, Pro 1, I wish I knew how good that was. Cur current Guilty Gear Strife rank, Floor 3, bottom emoji in like two weeks of playing. I think you're better than Floor 3 for what it's worth, having played against you personally. Games I've played competitively, online tournaments, Smash Bros. for 3DS. Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition, Mario Kart 7, Guilty Gear 1, Overwatch 2, COD Mobile. I think these are mo- like- Except for Overwatch 2 and COD Mobile, I think these are all games that are on the 3DS. And 1.2 billion Twitch followers. Wow, very impressive Harper. Okay, well those were the last of the resumes that were submitted in time, more or less. Harper had already submitted and she resubmitted. Now we gotta look at the ones that haven't been submitted on time. Oh wait, we gotta rank, rate Harper's uh, resume. Okay, I'm pretty sure, I don't know why, I think this is Comic Sans. So that's one minus point, first and foremost. Mine and AKG's was in time action. Technically, I said like, didn't I put like four hours before I stream or something? Well, in the in the announcements channel? I'm gonna look at it, okay? You said four actually, which isn't grammatically correct. Okay, well then that's my fault for not uh, setting the time correctly. You you guys win. I messed up. All right. Okay. What would I rate, rate Harper's resume? Maybe a a four out of ten or a three out of ten. The presentation could have been better, but there's a screenshot which I appreciate, and it's a uh, it's a PDF and not a Discord message or a TXT, which is good. Now I'm looking at the DMs. Leia, Metopia five playthroughs and 46% in another run. I had like 80%, but it's deleted. In my opinion, one of the hardest games to 100% ever. Pokemon Shield, full decks, plus a lot of shinies, still have a Pokemon owned by a primary school friend, never changed the moveset. 400 out of 400. Okay, this and this is the DLC, which there's still some there's still some work to do, but I'm sure you're gonna complete it. Shinies! These are four shinies. You said you forgot a shiny Weavile in the DMs, I'm gonna just pretend it's in there. Pokemon Unite Insane Leafeon Azumarill Gameplay Real. Also pretty good rank when I play a lot. Elite in German. 
I, I only played Pokemon Unite once. I can't really speak too much to that, but I'm sure you're a... Oh, okay, you know what? I don't need, I don't need to play it to know how that 79% win rate is insane. That's great. With th in, on 39 games? Yo, your, your Leafeon is cracked. Also, this is how I learned the German name for Leafeon. All right, Splatoon 2 kills and Zap, uh, one of the weakest damage weapons. Okay, 32 kills, holy. Rating? Okay, what's your rating? First of all, thank you for in including uh, photos of, the, uh, of some stuff. Adds a lot, and thanks for making it a PDF. I would say this is probably a six out of 10, if I had to guess. Uh, thank you for submitting, Leia. Somebody has tagged me in the Discord. Twisted has submitted a resume. All right, I, if I had to rate this Twisted, I would probably give it an 11 out of 10. You win the competition. I'm not gonna look at any more resumes. I mean, what could possibly beat this? Uh, yeah, you're gonna win the $20 gift card. Congratulations, Twisted. All right, Seesaw's weird resume. It's a PowerPoint. Whoa, it's so long. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. You might want to mentally prepare. I'm mentally preparing. Hey, just real quick, Cecil's resume itself took like half an hour to go over, so her resume, like all the others, were cut a little short. I do highly recommend watching the VOD and checking out the full resumes if you're interested in that. Alright, Cecil's super impressive gaming resume. If you do not go wow at every single one of these achievements, I will get you Mr. Karn in parentheses Tom. Soggy cereal man, this is me because I said I drink, I drink, I eat my my cereal with milk like a normal person, which I guess is why Seesaw has me saved like this on Discord. With a message saying, wow, Seesaw is super awesome. Re this message, by the way, I can confirm is real. This is not shopped. This is real. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage, this game is the best game ever made. Therefore, I have all six, 765 achievements. They range from... Yeah, that's pretty easy to make sure you are, at, are the last person in this chain without any manipulation, which is hard. I also have every support, every weapon in the game fully refined. I am still working towards the goal of every bond. Very impressive. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Fire Emblem Engage. Oh no, I can see the preview of the next slide. I don't like this. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I've had to deviate from the standard slide layout here because I have two big Mario Kart achievements. Firstly, my global score is above 17,000, which blows the previous best, which was 10,000 out of the water. I don't like global and every time I play go global I generally start hating the game. I don't like 150cc. And the other is my win rate against Karn. Approximately 85.53% win rate. That is pretty cool and impressive. Update, it is now 355.53 again making it around a 15% win rate for Karn. Splatoon 3, I beat Karn in a 1v1. He refuses to do one he, he refuses to 1v1 me because he is scared that I am too good. He also disconnected the round after and framed me for it because I usually have bad Wi-Fi. That's not awesome. Also, in that exact stream at 15337, he says, and I quote, I can't accept that she's better than me at two video games. We've had only ever played Mario Kart, Smash, and Splatoon 3. I can't accept it that he's better at, than me at two video games! I can accept one video game where she has like 10 times the hours. But a video game where I have more hours, no way. Everything that is mentioned is true except the second game I was winning and then she disconnected. She probably turned off the route or something like that. All right, Paper Mario, the Origami King. Oh, Origami Transition. I have literally every trophy in the game. They are not fun or easy to get other than Shy Guys finish last. That shit was fun. This is solely included because Karn does not ha have all 15. Therefore, I am better. Yeah, fun fact. I raced Seesaw to who could get all 15 trophies first when I had 11 trophies and she had three or something and she beat me i didn't i think i get i got one or two more trophies before uh she got all 15 which she graciously didn't include <laughs> zero you started at zero my mistake blaze blue cross tag battle the tactics mode in this game is not fun some combos like ruby are so easy it makes you snore others are jump canceling while not actually jumping for charging certain combos Akumen hard combo also, I've beaten hell CPUs who are, I kid you not, children of the devil themselves. I have every collectible in the game, no minus online, once 
Mine is online once because no one plays BB tag on Switch, I guess except for me. I beat Carnivorex like 21-0. Well, but I did beat you that one time, but I'm pretty sure this was before that uh, slide of the PowerPoint was made, so you didn't include it. But like the record now, I think is like uh, 41 or something, so yeah. Big point in my favor, I would say. Legends Arceus for starters is such a great game, getting the entire poker bit decks for this game was probably the most fun out of any other Pokemon. However, when it comes to something I'm proud of, yeah, no, my shiny alpha collection. These are incredibly sought after because obviously they're alpha Pokemon, but I love them all very dearly. Especially Big Boss, my shiny alpha Parasite. And that's Seesaw with all her alpha, po shiny alpha Pokemon. Insanity, by the way. Nintendo Switch Sports. I cannot explain how much I hate this game. However, as we all know, I'm replaying the entire game to get every single collectible so I can say this game was worth like 50 pounds. Even now, I have yet to get the golf gold outfit but have 6 out of 7 as of now. Plus, this is made prior to best gold being playable so if I beat Karn and get gold outfit, I will see soon. Update, I did. Also, did I mention the game fucking sucks. Dagon Rampa V3 Killing Harmony. Okay, so here's the thing. It's common knowledge that Karn quit Dagon Rampa because of the writing. I would say like the humor or the dialogue is actually more accurate now that I think about it, but yeah. That is completely fair, therefore me beating a Dragon Rampa game in, is an achievement in and of itself. Because oh my god V3 has a really good final chapter but it is a chore to get through the writing to actually see it. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, great game by the way, great game. Okay, photos are a bit hard, so let me explain. For base 3D world, I have 100% completion, all stars, stamps, every character beat, every level, etc. Even never got the white tanuki suit a single time, hence making the stars shine. Oh, really? I didn't even know that was a thing. For Bowser's Fury, I've gotten 100% completed uh, four times. I haven't even 100%ed it once. Good game, though. Technically, I've gotten 400 cat shines, so that certainly counts towards me being good at this game. Metopia. Metopia is literally one of the best games to ever exist. Ever, and because of that, I have beaten the game like three times. Again, I have 100%, which means I have done everything. Killed every monster, saw every event, hell, even got plus 99 stats in every single category. My me is a genuine god slayer and would kill any one fiction or not. Talking about a god slayer or just a slayer, dot, dot, dot... Slayer, look under there. Underwear. Haha, -ha, I made you say underwear. And this is Slayer Last Horizoning, my beloved boy chip. Alright, Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> Unlike Chip, I beat Slayer with Batman. Sl Slayer was being Slur was being controlled by AKG, who has like 200 hours in the game. It's close. But he was no match for the bed. Now, for a brief remembrance test, Karn, who plays Chip, was shown to have died tragically the last horizon in that demonstration. Therefore, if I beat Slayer, I beat Chip, and therefore I am the best player of all time. Image is the only proof of this ever happening, take it or leave it. Okay, insane transition. <laughs> Needy streamer overload. So for NSO, I have gotten what do you call carnivore in a library? Mr. Karn, what? I'm trying to think right now. Oh, I forgot. Whoopsies. You know, this is your resume, right? I'm taking time out of looking at your resume. Deduct points for that time wasting? I, I just might. I just might. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So obviously me getting into Elite Smash is a bit hard when I don't know you're bad at the game. So instead I did other things. I've done every challenge, got World of Light to 100%, got every spirit, and like some other boring things. But obviously the most important thing was my son winning, winning the Grand Amiibo Tournament. Because he's just that awesome. Right guys? Recreation of the finale on the next slide. This is true. This happened two days ago. Her son, Seesaw Jr., beat my son, uh, Carnivorex. Why is my son the same name as I am? I don't know, but it did happen. There is video proof, and this is a accurate recreation. He would win. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> ah! Oh my, what an insane edge guard. Okay, GG. GG. Man, man. Game of acronym of vmsr i'm not elaborating at all on this i bought a game with the acronym of vmsr and speed ran it 
because no one else speedrun the game, by technicality, I have world record. I know this for sure, as Switch version has cut content making it faster and the game is incredibly strategic, needing to take your time with every single decision, so I, so I know no one speedrun the game from that alone. Image semi-related. Consoles, I guess. I don't know, so, so everyone starts sending stuff about what kind of things they have, so like, might as well do the same. I have uh, a Switch, another Switch, Xbox One S, uh, 3DS had two Wii U's, but had to get rid of one due to the incident of 15, also had a Wii and a DS. Does an NES classic count, surely? Yeah, that's about it, see ya. That's the end, whoa, how time flies. I, re I remember just when you read Seesaw's joke at the halfway mark, you gotta find out the punchline on the next slide. No way. Oh my god. What do you call a carnivore in a library? I don't know, what do you call a carnivore in a library? A war reader. G John, what the fuck? Oh man. Oh man. Alright. Alright, Seesaw. Oh, okay. There was one more thing. It's her burning at the stake and dying, I think. Wow, that was it. That was it. After deducing points for s stalling me with the joke, I will say that this is a 10 out of 10 and is in contention for winning the prize. Simply because of the insane effort put into the presentation and the amount of 100%ing of games. I personally would have liked to see more multiplayer achievement, ranks, etc, etc. But I have to say, objectively, this is insane. AKG filming. Oh no. <laughs> Why are there sources? It's a U AKG has submitted a YouTube video. Let's watch this. I hope the mix is okay. I don't know I don't know who submitted this. It's from Warfan. Four views one hour ago. Alright, let's just watch it. Great setup by the way. I hate your desktop wallpaper. Age four. This is true and it's very annoying. It only does let you send 10 at a time. This is Tears of the Kingdom. This is Minecraft. Very cool indeed. This is a some sort of forbidden thingy. This is when you said you got a message from your brother. <laughs> uh...
This does not look like Tetris 99. Is he gonna show me? Oh, he's gonna show me. Okay, AKG, this isn't gonna get me banned, right? Was oh, that Funky Town? AKG, you're actually gonna get me banned for real. It is Funky Town. Is that lyrical, Zoe? Wow, great video game, AKG. <laughs> Let's look at Steam. Oh, he played the button. Stan's played that game, I think. My god, you actually made a wiki. You actually made a wiki. I'm losing my mind. Oh my god. No way, there's there's so much audits. <laughs> oh. And this is the RHP website. <laughs> Oh, that's actually so funny. I think that, you know what the funniest thing is? I think the message is actually real. Because Seesaw needed somebody to send her resume. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually real. I'm losing my mind. Okay, listen, I think in terms of presentation, this is the best resume I have gotten. Now, content-wise, very cool video game, very cool wiki, I must say. I think the presentation probably bumps it up to a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. Definitely in contention for winning. Great resume, AKG. Thank you so much for submitting. For everyone watching who didn't see the stream, I would say the wiki AKG made was actually a pretty substantial part of his resume. However, including it in this video kind of blows the scope. I'm gonna make a separate video on it because I think it's just that good that it deserves its own video. So stay tuned for that. All right. Well, okay. I don't, I'm not gonna choose who won. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. So, I will put I will put up a poll because I refuse the responsibility. I don't want to accept any consequences for my actions. So, I will make a poll. 9 votes. I'm closing the poll at 10 votes. 10 votes. All right. The results are in. The poll is done. Seesaw took the vote with 50%, AKG got uh, 30%, and Mr. Knight had 20%. All right, congratulations, Seesaw. Congratulations. Yeah, commencement speed. Thank you so much, everyone who submitted. Obviously, I'm going to turn this into a YouTube video. Uh, thanks for making this really fun. Uh, thanks for making this something really cool. I'm going to do more stuff like this in the future. The next thing will probably be me looking at your setups if you want to post those. So expect something on the Discord pretty soon. If you would like to participate in something like this, be sure to join the Discord. That's where you will get all the information. I'll be sure to shout it out on my YouTube as well. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm pretty tired and uh, this took a lot out of me, but I hope you like the stream and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for submitting your resumes. Congratulations, Seesaw. And I will see you next time. Bye.